Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Storm Trail and today we're going to be doing the finishing touches of the cabin of my rogue mode boat. Now, I changed up some of the colors on this boat. I still have a little bit to do to make it look a lot better. But the orange and the yellow, the black, and the gray looked really good together. So I thought I'm going to do that. I'm going to add in the yellow, the orange, and the black, and the gray. And in my opinion, it looks a lot better than it did before. So what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be doing some of the cabin work. We're going to be doing an actual dashboard and adding in a good looking seat so that we can go and see the ocean as we go along. I've already added some performance enhancements down here in the engine bay by adding a gearbox. So we can now go in reverse and we also have the ability to go a lot faster. This thing absolutely flies now so I'm going to have, I have a feeling we're going to have to add in a stability improvement. But for right now we just got a few things to do in this episode and by the end of this episode we should have a fully functioning boat that is ready to go and the only things left is just a few minor touches and a few additions and if you guys are enjoying this series make sure you hit that subscribe button and help me get to my goal of 100 subscribers uh, thank you guys so much for all your support recently with the uh, current videos I've been posting and thank you all for everything and uh, well, I guess let's go ahead and get started all right here in the workshop as you can see we do we still have you know the, some of the paint issues but we're all good and here we've got our little cabin area really nice and comfy down there now we got to think of what kind of seat we want to use now I'm thinking of using a driver's seat and sitting in the middle I want to be able to sit in the middle so I may redo these windows so I can have a main window window right in the middle but because this boat is so small I may actually want it to ha have a boat have the actual driver's seat right here so let's go ahead and get a compact one because we want all of the compactness so we could get a pilot seat, which doesn't make sense, so driver's seat. Alright, so let's get the driver's seat. Now, you place down the driver's seat back here, and if we were to go sit in it right now, you can see that the view may not be that great due to the fact that there is some lines right in our line of sight. Hey, get it? No, alright. But, it does look a little weird, and for that reason I kind of want to sit in the middle. Or redo this window but I don't know what I want to do so what I'm gonna do for now is I'm just going to build the basic controls from here and add in other things as I go along because this is where I'm going to be sitting and this boat is for rogue mode rogue mode so it has to be absolutely perfect but all right let's get inside of here and first things first we need a dashboard so I say we put a dashboard right here and let's go ahead and get our compact pivot and take our dashboard out like this right there and a few across like that so now whenever we start up this dashboard is going to fold down giving us a view of all of our instruments so we're going to have to see how that goes. I don't want it to look very bad. And as of right now, it's not looking great. But we're just starting, so it's not going to look that great at the very start. So what is, what's going to happen is... Oh, we're in symmetry mode. So let's actually get rid of this. Because that is blocking our way to the cabin. And what we're going to have here is hopefully it'll look a lot better once it's actually all said and done but this is going to be our main instrument panel so up here we are going to put a dial right here and grab a dial next we want to put instrument panels across these three pieces of the panel all right we got our instrument panels and some of these panels are going to be used for controlling and some is going to be used for displaying information 
So this front panel, I think I want it to be a control panel for all, the, all of the main functions of our boat. So what is, what's going to be here is there's going to be a switch, a flip switch. This is going to be our engine. We flip that switch and it turns our engine on. This may actually change. I may actually put these switches over here or something, have it more out of the way, or I may have it above me. It depends on which looks better. But for now, we're just going to put it here. And the second instrument is going to be a, another switch button, flip switch. And the third one is going to be our light switches. So it's going to be another flip switch. All of this middle one is going to be all flip switches. Now on over here, we have our little dials. So with our little dials, we're going to keep one and two the same, three and four. Let's change to buttons. All right, now that we've got that, we want something to display our fuel and or where our throttle is at. So what our throttle is gonna be is it's gonna be determined by the seat. The seat is gonna control the throttle, except it's not gonna be a reset throttle. It's gonna be a sticky throttle. So if you want it to slow down, you have to hold down S. Just to make add the realism a little bit more or in some certain features added a bit more in the gaming realm so we are going to get a gauge display all right we got our gauge display here so this is going to be telling us our main throttle and as for when it comes to fuel and stuff i think i may create little dials to, to the side of this but it depends i'm not really sure but right now the way we've got it set up is pretty good and on this side i think actually we'll put hmm what do we want here for intents to keep this looking as good as possible i'm adding a gauge to both sides so i could add uh the fuel to that side so i'm gonna just fix this up a little bit all right, so this is looking a lot smoother now. And we can make it even smoother by doing this. This is gonna make you feel like there's a lot more room in your driver's seat, which is what you want, honestly. So now that we've done that, I'm going to show you guys how to make this actually move down when we sit in it and move back up when we get out. Now, how we want to do this is we've got our robotic pivot here and th that robotic pivot all it's going to do is just move this table down one and that's all we want it to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab a numerical switch box. We're going to go down here to the very bottom of our ship and we're going to add a switch box. And once we've done the switch box all we need now is a constant number output now that we've got our constant number output we want to put 0.25 or whatever it you want it to be for this sense I might want it 0.35 so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this constant number and we're gonna put it to the on value and the switch signal which is gonna tell it when to send the signal of the number you want that to be on the occupied side of the driver. And this here is going to go right to this robotic pivot right there. And just like that, all we have to do now is attach electricity to that pivot and spawn it in. That's all we have to do. Now, as you can see, it's staying still. There's nothing much happening to it. But when I sit down, it moves down just like this now you may be thinking well that's a little low and I can't really see it too far down well that's exactly what I'm about to fix for this right here it's too low it's just too low and too far away you want that gauge and dashboard to be right next to you so I'm going to teach you guys how to use the selection grid now the selection grid is a very powerful tool 
I use it all the time and it's so useful. So basically what you're going to do is you're going to bring it here and over to where your gauge or display would be. And I'm just going to do resize grid. Now I'm going to resize it until I see there you go. It starts sensing where the gauge is. So I want to take this up and take this out. Now because gauges are weird you have to do that. And there you go. You now have the entire gauge and dashboard selected. So now once you've got that you want to hit the move and cut button. Then you're going to move it back once and up if you prefer, but I cannot do up. There's no more room. So we're keeping it at the current place. We are just moving it back. So now that we've done and moved it back, we can paste. Now you may be thinking, well, that's all you got to do, except there is one more thing you have to do to have this working perfectly. So you have to go to the merge tool right here. Click this and click it to the outside body and now it is connected once more and you don't have to redo your connections they stay the same so now let's spawn this vehicle in all right now you can see it is much closer now if we sit in this it's a little low so what we're gonna have to do to fix that is we're gonna have to move it back closer to us and move it up one this can be a little hard but once you get it all done completely and working it looks really good so I'm gonna go ahead and fix this all right so now you see a working dashboard this looks pretty good this is what I wanted this right here now it may look a little weird over there but it works and when you stand up it has a little bit of a weird area back there but it looks good once it's actually angled and this, you can just press all the buttons if you want to, if you got the power, you know, turn all your switches on, off, anchor system. So basically, what's going to be on these switches is this is going to be our starter. This is going to be our bilge pumps. This is going to be our reverse gear. And this is going to be our, this is going to be our anchor right here. And these buttons here. We can find a use for them. Perhaps at one point I get a secondary thing that wraps up around here. And I can look at the radar or something. Watch out for megalodons. And or use it as for ways to find people in search and rescue missions. But as you can see this thing is floating quite well. And as it is right now I can drive it. But that's not what we're going to do right now. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to kit out this gauge system makes it make it all work maybe change the color scheme add a bit of decoration to all the other things just simple stuff like that and i will see you guys once i've got that done all right guys so i have the boat working it's a little bit buggy it's gonna take some time to work out some of the issues but for right now i've just got the main things done I've just got the engines. I don't have any of the temperatures or the RPM set up yet. I don't have the bilge or the anchors done. That's going to take some actual time. I'm going to do off camera. But for right now, I'm going to show you guys just how well this thing performs and some of the issues with it. So I hope you guys can help me with that. those issues. It's really weird. I don't think I can explain it, but just watch this. So it starts up fine. You know, I'm maxing it out. Just fine. Perfect really nice super smooth turns really well does exactly what i want it to but watch this i tell it anything other than one and listen it kind of fluctuates it's super weird but i mean it works and we've got a working boat here so I mean it works so if you guys know anything on how to fix that please tell me down in the comments down below because I honestly have no idea how to fix that or why it's doing that because this is the first time I've ever built an ECU I mean it works I mean I can go down to 23% it'll kill the engine 
and then it should start going again at a certain bit so 42 seems to be the lowest it wants to really go so yeah right here you can tell it's wanting to go but it's just kind of it's really weird I don't know how to explain it but it works so, so let's try it and one final thing before we end this video off and that's wind how will it perform against wind let's give us some throttle here oh yep so all right so things to do on the to-do list we need to add stabilizer fins to the very front to keep it from doing this it already wants to flip back up to the top which is exactly what I want now I'm gonna have to lower the actual power here let's try 37 hopefully it, it keeps us going calm yeah all right so it's got it kind of killed it but yeah it's just really fluctuating on trying to keep this thing slow but from what I can see it handles the waves okay it's not it's not like great you know there's still some kinks that need to be worked out um, but in general it works pretty well I like the way this is set up here just a lot of decorations we could do inside here I kind of want to get rid of this and add something different like an actual angled window here I don't know we're just gonna see how that goes but as of right now it's looking pretty good nothing that really needs changed it handles it pretty well and I think that's about it for today's episode guys so thank you guys so much for watching and just clicking on this video and watching through the end that means a lot and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. But until then, God bless you.